The time was the 1970s, the high watermark of the tennis boom. And tennis players weren't just athletes, they were rock stars. Crossover cultural icons commanding big time attention all over the world. And so Tennis Channel is pleased to offer an exclusive presentation of one of that era's finest events, the nationally televised Pepsi Grand Slam, a four-man ATP tournament that took place from 1976 to 1980. The Pepsi Grand Slam, a high-stakes shootout featuring the game's very best. The passionate Jimmy Connors always leaving it all on the court. His biggest rival, the understated Swede, Bjorn Borg. The young John McEnroe making his way to the top. Arthur Ashe, classy and compelling. And a host of other top players. Vetus Carolitis, Manuel Arantes, Brian Gottfried, and the dashing Argentine, Guillermo Vilas. They're all here, giving their all. It's the Pepsi Grand Slam, only on Tennis Channel. Good. Hi, I'm Kevin Frazier, and welcome to Tennis Channel Classics. You know, throughout the history of tennis, there have been special events that really help promote our sport in ways that are both innovative and engaging. One such competition began in 1976. It was called the Pepsi Grand Slam, a four-man ATP event pitting a quartet of the game's very best male players, often including those who'd recently earned Grand Slam singles titles. It aired nationally on TV on CBS, and the compressed format of the Pepsi Grand Slam was exceptionally compelling, and trust me, these were fierce battles. Now, our match today stars two brilliant left-handers, John McEnroe and Guillermo Vilas. I love saying that name. They were in a playoff for third place from the 1980 Pepsi Grand Slam, and you know, you know, when it came to tennis, hitting the ball with their left hand was just about the only thing that these two had in common. McEnroe was an all-court player whose combined finesse and attack made his game special. Vilas, meanwhile, was a very physical baseliner, and his forceful topspin ground strokes often ground opponents into the dust. The style contrast between Johnny Mac and Willie made for very engaging tennis. Let's get you right out to CBS's Pat Summerall and Tony Trabert and the 1980 Pepsi Grand Slam match between John McEnroe and Guillermo Vilas. Players ready? Vilas, Vilas at the far end, John McEnroe with his back to you. Vilas about to serve. And Pat, that the, we've had quite a bit of rain last night and this morning. This court is wet. Oh. They put some extra top dressing on it to try to absorb some of the moisture. These are called all weather courts, hard through. The water does run through very nicely, but we've got an awful lot of rain. What other effects does it have? Well, if it's if it's not too wet. The footing is actually better than when the court dries out, but if it is a little bit uh, wetter than normal, the balls get heavier. It's a slower game than normal because the balls will pick up the granulation, some of the moisture, and the top dressing.
1530. Because of those adverse weather conditions and because it is still threatening, this is an eight game pro set. break point for McEnroe and McEnroe has gotten a couple of cheap errors out of Velos just in normal rallies. Service break and leads one game to none. First set. Eight game pro set. To serve. McEnroe leading one game to love will serve from the far end now. The wind is a crosswind and uh, pretty substantial, too. It'll have an effect. In the three days that we've had matches here, Pat, the wind has been in a different direction each day. Mm -hmm. First day it was blowing from left to right on the viewer's screen. Now it's going right to left. Yesterday it was blowing from the far end toward us. Just slip, trying to recover. 15 all. And you see him knocking the top dressing out of his shoes. That's one of the things the players will be doing, much like you do in football when you play in muddy conditions. You've got to keep that mud out of his cleats. You just hope that neither player injures himself due to the conditions. They're not, they're not treacherous, but it's just more slippery than they're accustomed to. Defensive lob by McEnroe it had Velos back by the baseline, but Guillermo was up to it. Forty. Strong serve from McEnroe. Being a left-hander, it always surprises you when it comes out to that side of your when you return. You expect him to swing it. And you know you're not going to swing it all the time, but when they go the other way, it's a little bit. Uh, it catches you by surprise a lot of the time. McEnroe just doing a little court maintenance himself. That's out. The game. McEnroe, he leads two games to love. So far, Pat.